Hi everyone. For today's project, we're going to put the wires on the hoop and twist them in a way that our tree will go to the side. So I have 12 wires and they measure 14 inches long and this is a 4 inch hoop. The way I'm going to do this, fold the wire in half, give it a little pinch, pass it through the bottom of your hoop, bring it up, and pull. Now, I like to twist as I go, but because this is not going to be in the middle, we don't need that many twists on this first few wires. That's good, just like that, not too many. I'm going to do this with all 12, and we increase the twisting as we go. And the way to determine if we're doing it enough or too much is we're going to bend the tree in the direction that we want it to go. Side by side, just a little bit more. And just a little bit less. Again, pass it through. Bring your hoop wires up through your hoop and give it a little tug and put in your twists. See what I mean? We're going to push it that way and we want it to look graceful. This is going to be a pretty tree. Try and keep it as easy as I can. It's not a hard tree. It's just a little different. I'm going to put this one, can't even hold it, <laughs> I'm going to put this over here and put a few less twists in it. trying not to talk so much lately guys. I have a cough and it doesn't want to uh, go away. My husband has it too.
did try to record yesterday, and Miss Abby wasn't having it. She was very, very verbal, <laughs> chatting away, and Finn at the door crying for Abby. They're my cats for anyone that's new. You can meet them on my playlist. They're the star of the show, around here anyway. Okay, last one. <clears throat> pass it through your hoop. I like to hold it like that so it's not all moving around. And then bring them up, pass it through, bring them over. And I like to put my fingers like this so that it doesn't travel all over the hoop. And when I twist, I like to hold right here. Okay. Now we have all 12 wires on the hoop. Bring them down, and uh, I'm going to give them a little push together. Sometimes I like them fanned out a lot, not today, not for this one. But what we will do is take six and six, and three, four, five, six, and six. I'm going to arrange the roots in a way that we like them, like that. Bring the other ones over. <clears throat> like that. Now I cross them. It just allows me to have more control of my trunk. Just hold on to your roots and try to twist slow and even. Like that. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to take eight wires from my left and try to get some from the middle because of the way we're going to twist it. One doesn't want to go. Okay. Now, separate these eight into four and four. Four on the left, four on the right. I'm just going to put one twist in, just to help mark this one. That's just a crossover. One full twist, this way here, it doesn't get mixed up with these. Now take this, take eight. Just going to recount them. Yeah. Now, what you're going to do <coughs> is support your work right here, and you're going to put in a few twists that click is my wrist and the thumb. Okay, now take four and four. And again, separate these into four and four.
support your work right there. that. You see where we're going? This tree is not going to be in the middle of the hoop. And it's on purpose. <laughs> okay, now we're going to go back and let's see. I put just a little. I, don't, I still want some room to put a few little beads. Separate these four into two and two. You don't have to separate when you twist, I do because it gives me, I like to put my thumb there and it gives me the tension that I need. Well, some people just grab them and twist, that's fine. I've done it that way too. But if you're new here, you'll see, you'll see like my hands are all over the place and I do things in my own way. I'm just trying to offer some tips. Separate these ones again into four and four. The only thing with this kind of a tree is you do have extra wire here, but up here, depending on how you bead, you could run short. And I'm expecting to. If I cared enough, I could have cut some of the wires here a little bit shorter and then a little longer, and I'm just not doing that. If I have to add a wire, I'll show you how to do it. Or how to add wires if it's not full enough. That's another trick. They are in a playlist, all the little things that I do. I show you how to fix it if it doesn't reach your hoop. Or if you don't have enough, you need to add some more, a whole new section. Check out the playlist, guys. Everyone that's new, you'll learn a lot there. I, mean, if I, I used to record several a day lately, not so much. But if I do, teach you more tricks as I go. Make it easier for you. Stuff that I learned on my own, I'll share with you. Now it looks like this. Now we're going to go back and separate them into one and one and add some twists. Sorry guys, what's the matter? That's Miss Abby. She's in the window, she's coming down for a snack. <laughs> You don't have to put too many in because you need to have a little bit of space for a bead or two. Because of the type of tree this is, we'll see what we can come up with. It's just hard to get in there and hold it. Poke at me.
as you work on your tree, if you put leaves, which we are going to do on this, I do on, on all, you'll have a long wire and a short wire. Right now they're pretty close in size because we really haven't done much. But if you have a longer wire, always put your beads for a leaf on the longer wire because it takes up space. If you put it on the short wire, you're not going to reach your hoop. So always, always, I, I can't say it enough because I've not done it too. Just talking to you, I just get distracted and um, don't pay attention to what I'm doing. And then I have to fix it. And I'll show you how. Hopefully I don't do that today. I actually made a tutorial on a tree to break it, to add a section, and to add more branches. And you'll find them in the playlist, in a playlist. I'm actually going to update that maybe today because I do have stuff I haven't even posted. I've recorded it and I just have not gotten around to posting it. So I will work on that today. Okay. So now our tree looks like that. How pretty is this going to be, guys? What do you think? If you like it, give me a thumbs up. We'll call this part one, and I'll be back, and we'll bead. <laughs> 